Alright guys, Spectre here. I uh, just thought I'd take you with me doing a few errands today. How many we get done? It's a no nothing entirely because uh, today is a Sunday and it's my only day off work this week. And obviously trying to get anything done in this country on a Sunday is a total ball ache. So, yeah, we'll see. Of course, it being my only day off, the weather is at best grey. The forecast is um, patchy rain and that sort of nonsense. But hopefully I'll be... Uh, I'll stay dry for the next couple of hours. By the way, I don't know if you can see on the camera, my uh, my lometer there, 38,998 miles, 0.8. With a bit of luck, I might hit 39k today. It's quite a legitimate milestone, actually. That's quite a quite a distance this bike's done. And what, 9,000 of those were me? So, first stop today is off to the bank. It's not off to the bank, because I left the fucking check behind. Well, fuck me, all right? <laughs> oh, this is going to be one of those fucking days, isn't it? All right, well, scratch that idea. So the plan today was to go and cash my check at the bank there. So, next port of call is going to be Matalan, because I'm secretly a 60-year-old uh, man. <laughs> this whole uh, student thing coming, you know, graduate thing. I was all a lie, I'm actually old as fuck. I need to buy a specific coloured tie for a wedding. This is my turning. I also need to buy a dress shirt because I've got some rather kick-ass motorcycle cufflinks, but I've got nothing to use them on because my, all my shirts are sort of school shirt type thing, you know, where it's a, a hole and a button. And to use cufflinks like I'm just looking idiotic, um, I need two buttonholes on the collars. Collars? Cuffs. End of the fucking sleeves, all right? Oh, there we are. Look, thirty-nine thousand miles. Point three. Ha! What a milestone! I tell you what, for all the abuse I give this bike and all the hassle it's given me, still, still starts the button first time every time. Oh, by the way, I should point out if you see me doing like thirty-five and a thirty, I'm not actually doing thirty-five and a thirty. My speedo reads about five over these days, and um. I didn't realise until I rode my sat nav and used the actual GPS um, speed indicator and in, oh hello in that and yeah it's it varies depending on what I'm doing it's like a percentage over but it works like a bike five over which is quite annoying but better than it being five under and at least if I do see cameras and such if I just do thirty on the speedo I know I've got a bit of leeway underneath so you know keep me safe in that. Alright, so here is the technically first stop now, because I'm an idiot. Matalan. Home of all things interesting, said no one ever. Haven't actually checked if it's open on a Sunday, but there's enough cars here that I'm sure it is. Obligatory complete lack of bike parking, so um, I guess this will do. Alright, see you in a minute. Hey uh, guys, do you want to sit on it? Yeah, absolutely. Now everything metal is very hot, so be careful with that. So, do you want to lift him up? Look at you, cool dude. You like it? Yeah, absolutely. Up you go. There we go. Wow. That bit's cold. These down here will be very hot. Tell you what, push that button there for me. Push it hard. Twist that slightly. A little bit more. That way. Other way. That way. <laughs> no worries, guys. No worries. Cool. Off we go again. All right. So a uh, partial success there. 
Oh, that visor's not closed. Hang on. That's one like it. See, so yeah, a partial success. I got the shot I needed, which is all good. However, didn't get the tie. Like I said, I need a specific colour. It's quite a bright colour. And the tie there was, the tie collection was the most boring collection of dull, flat colours you've ever seen in your life. It was uh, all dark blues and greys and very dark burgundy red. It was like the brightest colour there. And here's me needing like a metallic orange, like, oh, oh. So I'll have to look elsewhere for that. I'm going to be, well, I do need to go into the sea centre at some point. And uh, we shall see what I can find in there. Basically, I'm right down, I've come right down to the very south end of Lincoln because I'm trying to avoid all the traffic in the uh, sea centre. Also, I left it pretty late in the day because I'm an idiot, so um, I've only got a, like an hour or so until most of the shops I need to close. So, plan now. I'm off to the post office. I need to finally send off my V5 and driver's license now that I've moved. So basically, when I bought this bike, I put my address, my home address, and then I moved out of the home address for 10 months or so while I was at uh, uni, and then I moved back in. Now, when I moved back in, the DVLA fucked up my V5, and they thought that my name had sold the bike to my name at the uh, new address. So they cancelled my tax, uh, which uh, without telling me, which was lovely, and um, obviously listed one more keeper than there should be on the V5. I did rectify it eventually when I find out. However, I don't have the most recent V5 up here. And it was two years ago and I can't even remember if I've got one. So the V5 I'm sending off is the V5 I got when I first got this bike because it has the correct previous keeper and the correct number of keepers and such. However, and the correct address. However, I don't know if they'll accept it because obviously uh, it's not the most recent technically. So yeah, I'll find out in a few weeks when I get that back, frankly. Operation Post Some Shit is done. Had to buy a... Well, I tried to buy an envelope. Uh, they didn't sell an envelope, so I've had to buy a pack of like 50. Uh, of course, it turned out after I bought them that they were slightly too small in terms of width to get an A4 in. Even when it was a... Uh... So I've had to like fold it three ways to get it in height-wise and then fold the corner in as well to get it done width-wise. Yeah, so that's not ideal. However, it's sent now, so with a bit of luck, I should have my new driver's license and V5 soonish if everything goes to plan with the V5, which I'm not entirely sure it will. So now I've got about an hour until the uh, the shops close. Next mission is I need to go into the dreaded city centre and go to EE and tell them that I've moved house and update their, my address with them. But yeah, operation get into the city centre as a go. Should be alright from here, I know the route from down here, I think. More or less just reverse what I did to get out here. Uh, one annoying thing though, Lincoln charges motorcycles to park. The bastards. Back in Plymouth, you can park where the fuck you want. You can park in the, the uh, big shopping centre, that has free motorcycle parking and that's proper dedicated motorcycle bays and all that sort of stuff. Great place to park. Cameras, nothing to chain it to unfortunately. It would be nice if there was a fence along the back to chain it to, but still, you know, proper bays and such. And that's free. Um, most of the car parks are free. Most of the like general like gaps between pavements and like the, there's lots of like negative space you can park on. I've never had any problems doing that. But Lincoln, every single car park here charges bikes to park. It's not much, it's only a couple of quid a day. But it's just fuck off, like, come on. We do so much to help the city, so much. We're small, we take less space to park, we take less space in traffic, we can filter to the front and then clear up congestion. Uh, we're faster, couriers and stuff, you need to get small packages in a city particularly bigger cities, 
perfect. Uh, we're cheaper to make, we're cheaper to buy, we're cheaper to run. We make less, uh, we make less emissions generally because we tend to have better miles per gallon than cars. We're cheaper to make in terms of material cost. So there's a lot less metal and the rest of it, a lot less CO2 from the manufacturing process. And how are we rewarded? By being charged to park. So I'm going to go and park at the one piece of pavement I've managed to find since I lived here. I'm sure there are more. But the one piece of pavement I find where um, you can get away with parking, there seems to be always a few bikes there. I've parked there a few times. You would have seen it actually if you watched the video uh, Spectre's Extra 03 Pillock, I think I called it. Uh, where I rode off into my fucking disc lock and fell over. Yeah. Watch that if you enjoy a bit of Schadenfreude. All everyone sees are just fucking pine signs. How much can we rob out of people? And then they wonder why the city centres are all dying. And what, oh, oh, there's no one buying anything in the city centre. They're all going to these out of city big shopping centres. It's awful. And you're like, well, yes, because they can drive there in their car and park there and shop. And they don't have to park somewhere and get a bus in or park miles away get charged like eight quid to park there if you're going out and you're buying like 20 30 quid's worth of stuff and you suddenly have to slap all a tenner's worth of parking on top of that it's just not worth it you just think well i'll just stay at home and buy it online 100 percent certain the way to aid the dying city center and stop all these shops being boarded up because no one's there just let us park free parking everywhere like i don't mean like Add more parking space, although do that too, if you can, but just like, let it be free parking. If you get, you know, first come, first serve, get in there, free parking, or even just like, like you get on some um, residential streets where it's like free parking for a couple of hours and then like no return within an hour. And no buses are more economical and, hi buddy, and just better in terms of carrying more people for less expensive energy. I get that, I do, but like, there's got to be a middle ground in some way. There really does. Incidentally, there's the dealership I went to, mistakenly. Oh, that VFR's still there in the window. And check out that cathedral. Like, as much as I shit on Lincoln, as much as it's not a particularly good city in a lot of ways. Tell you what, I think something else, isn't it? We've got some proper history here. Look at the size of it. <laughs> Taking photos of them, you love? Should have waved, really. All right, we're off again. Address successfully changed. Uh, come on, buddy. Bit of a long wait in there. Um, also, it's good to see that EE's stores are pretty universal because um, it was a million degrees in that shop. And uh, that's a thing that the Plymouth one does too. So... I don't know what their deal is with having the temperature set so ridiculously high, but I'm sat there literally beading up with sweat. And of course, much like the Plymouth one, the uh, guy who helped me today was just ridiculously hot. It was, uh, and typical, I'm there sweating like a pig in a sauna. Not a good look. Yeah, she was very cute. And southern, I think, that's probably why she's so pretty. She opens her mouth, I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> she, she brings up my profile and she's like, oh, you've come a long way. Yeah, just a bit. Geographically and culturally. Hey, I'm <laughs> sorry. We'll try not to do that much, but we'll see. So I've got like half an hour until the bank closes. So I'm going to have a go at whizzing back down to the south end of Lincoln. I've got the uh, the check I need now, so we'll see if I can get there in time. Thwarted by fucking Britain. So, they weren't even open at all today. I completely misremembered that. I thought they were open until half four. Same as um, EE. No, they're not even open on Sundays. And I had a quick look on Google Maps, and uh, it came up with three results for that bank in... Uh, fuck it. In Lincoln. And they're all fucking closed today. So... Fuck me right in the everything, right? First of a Sunday, all of them are. Like, really? Why? Why do we still have Sunday service as a thing? Why does it exist? There are so many people unemployed in this country. So many. And you're telling me you can't find enough people 
to open the shop on a Sunday, even for a few hours. Like, I'm hardly the only person who works a six day week. Because even if you do go try and go out in the week, if you work nine till five, and all the shops are open, nine till five, but when are you supposed to go and visit them? When are you supposed to get anything done? And then you get everyone trying to get into the city centre on Saturdays because that's the only, the only day in the week you can get anything done. And they end up completely clogged. And then you're back to square one, everyone going absolutely nowhere again. Why not just open the shops later and or open them on Sundays as well? There's no shortage of people who need jobs. Anyway, I'm going to go head back into the city centre again after all that and go home. So, uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. Ride safe.